While we cannot hold eye contact while I am eating it and inserting it to my mouth, I can make it vividly clear. How's it going, boys? Today we are playing a spooky, creepy skeleton deck. And if you're looking at this masterpiece and thinking, by golly gee villikers, that's a bigger mess than Eternals, yes, yes, you are sadly right. But on the bright side, this is the only thing that works. Skeleton swarming. Previously, people loved it and it was really great and people played it a lot. Now, almost no one plays it. Did the card suddenly go bad? No. It's just arena things. This deck works not because it works, but because we are abusing almost every mechanic in arena possible. Starting from lands, ending with the amount of instant target removals against planeswalkers that we have here. It is just an absolute mess, but it's a glorious one. 24 lands to be specific, and with that being said, without any further ado, let's just get a cracking and see what happens now. Fun fact, we are using 8 rats in this deck, and that's still arguably 12 not enough to sometimes deal with aggro, and even considering we have something around 12 single target removal cards, that is still not enough to deal with all the aggro. And, f uh, man lands. When you're playing a control deck, man, oh man, the chances of you playing into... Do we want to maybe bait it out a little bit with Shambling Geist? No, he's probably sacking it. I was thinking maybe I Infernal grabs the Shambling Geist so he just has the treasure instantaneously and then he chooses to do something, uh, well, whatever. But now, nah. So the problem with playing any kind type of control is, well, it's kind of hard to do so, most of the time at least. I should probably... No, no, no. I have the Cartographer's Survey, so that's gonna be good. It is pretty hard most of the time to use a control deck. Simply put, there's there's a lot of man lands. And when you're playing a control deck, you're usually playing against exactly someone who is gonna play man lands. Which makes it kind of quadruple the hard. But this is not that bad. I wonder if he... He's just attacking with one, huh? Oh no, that's what I call sus. Sorin... By the way, this Sorin, 10 out of 10. Ladies, boy. Okay. A lot of stuff. Sorin, it is... I want to prevent some damage. He's probably gonna main lane attack now on the Sorin. But that's fine by me. That's honestly fine by me. We will be able to resurrect that Sorin most likely because this is a snow land and that's for- Oh, hello there. A little bit unexpected, not gonna lie. He's also saving the treasures, which means he plays Liliana's most likely or something of that nature. Kinda not exactly lovely doubly, but hey, could be worse. Dig up or survey? Survey it is. He's currently not damaging us enough uh, for me to care. Also, pretty decent survey. Do this, and no. Actually, maybe. No. No, 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 no. I'm gonna most likely go for Meat Hook next turn. Do that for four, do that for one, three, life. This is safe. He most likely faceless havens. Oh! Okay! Suddenly, everything, everything changed when the Fire Nation attacked. Who would have expected? Ah, oh, Spider Mommy. Let's see. Wait, I could just, I could legitimately do it. Or I could, wait. Five. Nine. So, I have the choice. Between... She gets five, but that doesn't... Okay, okay. Let's do it a little bit safe-ish. Safe-esque, whatever you want to call it. Just Meat Hook Massacre. Do not let the damage overlap too much here, because we have Hero's Downfall. I think this will be the best choice of action. 
we could have potentially did the, did the blood on the snow uh, because simply put blood on the snow is really good it would allow me to get a sorin back and sorin's minus two here would be extreme value I will try to save Hero's downfall as much as possible. Our best play currently is that he plays Lilian now. And then we can uh, blood on the snow for, well, pretty much what you would, you would consider freebies. Manlands ruin everything. Oh! Why, thank you there, good sir. I did not know you even remotely cared. Suddenly, this guy is Mr. Care City Package himself. Amazing! Wait, how much money do I have left? Oof! Uh, heroes down. Wait. Yes. Now, wait, how many? Hmm. No, I need to get rid of Lolt instantaneously. Okay, get rid of Lolt. Z play, and. Then, well, then it's gonna be a search. And we need that search to be pretty inconspicuous. So, do I want to set up or do a little bit of late game? Skeleton swarming is not gonna do anything currently. That's like the big problem. Honestly, even the Celestis is currently a little bit higher octane plays. I can Faceless Haven bait him, technically. Okay, let's do that. Let's take the Skeleton Swarming and let's bait the ha uh, Faceless Haven play onto Lilian. Oh! Cute! I like how people panic when they see that. I honestly really like it when they panic when they see that. <laughs> There's so many people that panic when they see the World Tree. The World Tree only has one use, and that use is to make the three cost rat that kills only two costs, uh, well, be a rat that kills everything. This gives me. This, this essentially gives me free real estate. That's a free skeleton swarming. This turned out so better because he was afraid of the World Tree. I honestly don't even know why he was afraid of the real tree. What? So, if you're if you're someone and you see a Golgari coloration, what exactly are you afraid when you see a world tree? What makes you more afraid of a world tree than a faceless haven? Is there anything? I don't get it. But that that play did give us a, the most unquestionably best play that we could get. Because now, again, he does that. I instantaneously do this. And I will be able to do, well, some magical doodad things. So, blood on the snow. Get rid of all the creatures. Because I can play Lilian and it's going to be even better. Get back the Sorin. That does nothing, and now I can minus two. This is a ridiculous for value. Some of you are probably gonna say you should have plus one, but in case saw it, ooh, that's even better, because now his only play is faceless haven in the Sorin before Sorin does not start to draw me cards. If he does that, all of his man is over. Yeah, deciding to just blow up blood on the snow for planeswalkers. Woof. That also works in our favor. Oh, wait. Lolt is a thing. Ah, kind of forgot. Ah, uh, that's fine, though. I will 100% just instantaneously kill one spiderite. I'm not even gonna wait to Lilian, because I honestly have other plans for Lily. Hmm, well, Bloodthirst can't really do too much with that, but I guess it's fine. And attack on that, thank you. Okay, so... This should be the game. I'm kind of convinced. 
This should be far, far, far too much for the guy to handle. Yeah, faceless havens, which means he is 100%. Should have to played a little bit of the wait. Only one. Ooh, ooh. You really should have just do did another one. Well, that's gonna cost him the game. <laughs> Perfection. Okay, I like it. And, well, if that... Good enough. This is good. Kinda-ish. Mostly because we go first. And this is definitely a big first turn type of deal. I like it, though. Cat on purple. Is it? Well, no, I don't play a lot against a lot of it for some reason. Yep, it's something else. Well, wait. When did this get countered? Whenever one or more uh, cards leave your... <gasps> huh. Hmm. I suppose I can leave it up for one turn. I'm thinking maybe this is a Scudder Swarm deck. No, then it would be Silesnia. This is not Silesnia. Pretty sure that is the exact opposite of Silesnia. I have thought that maybe, you know, you could go for a couple of interesting things. Well, there's one definitely a very interesting deck that we're gonna try at some point. It, re it revolves around the idea of putting all your lands in the graveyard and then seeing what happens. Is this that? Is could No. No way. Well, I wouldn't use the fungus, but hey. Ooh, it has the house. Well, whatever. The house is probably the worst, the worst man land, so I'm not too worried about anything. Okay, he did that. I am gonna survey because this is so little damage, it's absolutely not even insane. Let's see. It's the variable that does the thing. Creature card exile this way, opponent exit, blah blah blah, enters the battlefield, or tax exile, yes. Yeah, it's not a big deal currently. Four man, and this is where he drops or does something that should tell us his game plan. Doesn't look too impressive though. Three faceless havens also doesn't seem impressive though. Well, let's see what he does on- Oh no, I could just do this because let's face it, honestly there's no better play. Or just set up the meat hooks. Well, let's set up the meat hooks, why not? We need to do something with Arman sooner or later, you know? And if he progs the house that we can swing Faceless Haven for face, which is gonna be nice. Also, I do wanna say that, man, we get Lilian so, so, so not often in this, uh, in this deck, even though we have... Do we have two or three of them? Well, it doesn't matter, we don't see them. And Lilian is honestly one of... Ah. Well. That's something. I can't kick it. Okay. Uh, oof, the play, I guess. Hmm. Yeah, this is bad. That's bad. That's definitely bad. So now I'm supposed to deal with that every single... I hate... There's so many ways to screw up control, it's insane. No wonder no one plays control at this rate. I almost forgot about this thing. By the way, this is not a coincidence we're playing against it, because this is just amazing against control. It's so rare to have graveyard disruption. The, the, the best way to have Graveyard Disruption as, uh, as anything that has black in it is the main lane that exiles a card from the Graveyard. 
But even then, it's kind of like iffy. Okay, this is kind of okay-ish. Also, he had zero interactions there. No removal, really. Are you just a creature deck? That would be pretty antique, to say the least. Not impressed. Three cards in the graveyard. Three creatures, I should say, in the graveyard. Still not impressed, though. Okay, so he does that, but he's honestly not doing too much here. That exchange is beneficial for us in some, some ways, you know? He's just gonna replay that now again. Funny. He doesn't even hesitate, huh? Oh, and th then he goes for death. Yeah, he does not even hesitate, boys. Throne of... Oof. Wait, when did this flip? Mill card. Oh, no, it never flipped. Um, how do I want to do this? Well, there's not, there's not a lot of, you know, there's not a lot of ways to do this. Uh, I might as well create, honestly, a black vampire creature token. The chances that I get a land, well, the, the, the land does nothing anyway, so yeah. Sorin, do, do, do the thing. Thank you. Also, worst case scenario, I just blood on the snow and get Sodden back and, you know, we kind of just repeat it. This is not a bad matchup for us. Oh, he ditched Lair of the Hydra? That's insane, though. Oh, there's so many things that ca that do not allow uh, currently in standard for control decks to exist. Mainly, it's the lack of good removal. Your first good, re really good removal starts at 3 man. That's... That's pretty steep. Admittedly, Hero's Downfall is incredibly good, not just good. But you get the point. But you get the point. Oh! Oh, that's why he does it, because this will get a plus one one counter every single time. That's so cute! Stupid, but kind of cute. Should I just... Completely a uh, nuke him. Uh, no, just attack Meat Hook Massacre yet again, and you know, uh, saved by the bell essentially. Not bad, not bad. Get rid of everything. And he's pretty much powerless, I think, for uh, that duration. Very low amount of lands drawn currently. Hey, it's two skelly boys now. That ruins his day completely. It's true. What is he gonna do with the throne? Mill a card. Admittedly, milling a card is good. If you're trying to mill stuff, but... Wait, how many of these he has? All four? No, that's the third one. Seriously? Oh, because right. You may cast from your graveyard if a creature named uh died this turn. No, what? You may cast from your gra if a creature not named Yeah. That's why he only does it then. Oh, that's so cute. But still this is this god is incredibly good for no reason against uh control. But I think we got this. It looks like there's not a lot he can do, honestly, here. Well, I, I say that, but that does not make it necessarily true. We still haven't won, even though we're gonna technically win next turn. If he doesn't uh, nuke this. So, listen closely. This is gonna be the most important thing you have heard all day, week, month, or in your life. I'm not sure how pathetic your existence is, but I'm eating a banana. Oh, yes. While we cannot 
hold eye contact while I am eating it and inserting it to my mouth, I can make it vividly clear that I am eating it. Mm. That's good stuff. Anyway, like six more bites to go. I wonder, does that make my mouth big? Or does that make the banana big? Or is my mouth small and the banana small? So many options in life. Mm. Mm. Also, this is an annoying deck. Ooh! That is actually surprisingly good for us. There is a chance that this is a late game deck, and we don't really care about late game deck. Oh my god, this is kind of what I expected to a degree. Also, this is a huge problem suddenly. This is the best choice. It's a sad choice, but it is the best choice. I, If he does not drop anything that gives plus uh, life now, we should be in a good situation. I have no idea what this even does. Look at the top five cards and you're doing me really... Did he just... Yes, he did. Amazing. Wait, he legitimately got that? Huh. I'm also currently extremely flooded with lands. I kind of need to do this, otherwise he just scales really hard. Or I can try and, uh, or I can try and stay with, with Soren for a bit. But then this gets too big to actually kill kill. Hmm. This is bad no matter how I look at it. But I need to go for something like this at the bare minimum. This is gonna be the best play. Again, it's sad, but it is the best play option to uh, for me. There is a chance I just top deck something. Ah, uh, that single-handedly removes it. Like, half my deck. No, seriously, half my deck does it. Okay! He is currently land-bricked, as we say in this, uh, 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 in this uh, business. Should I? Nah. If he plays only one, uh, one hollowed priest, we know it's over. Oh my god, look at this. Oh, this is so perfect. So ridiculously perfect. Only two more bites, boys. Blood on snow, that's also, by the way, perfect. <laughs> I'm going to go for the Sorin play, which no one expects, and the minus two. So if we win this, it's purely because this guy did not manage to get a second white land. Playing not monocolor decks out of 10, this is called very, very bad life choices. Please play the hollowed priest because you feel threatened. Good. Okay, now, now we're in a glorious position. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's the stuff. Oh, he's even double attacking, cool. Hmm, nothing changes with the land. Um, should have... Maybe let Sudden actually die? Let's do the plus one first. It, it, the, the decision... Ooh, reveal. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. And I would not be surprised if he just concedes because of this. This is kind of ridiculously just flexing on the dude that this... Well, it's not flexing, but you get the point. He knows I have a single target removal, one of them, and he has three cards. And he has one white. Which kind of saved us a lot. And the banana's finished, by the way. It took me three minutes. 
Another one. This is not a bad card, by the way. Ooh, Righteous Angel. Okay. Oh, he's the, he's a core uh, celebrant type of guy. Okay. Uh, plus one it is. Yeah, I'll reveal that. I'll do also this. And, well, that. And then we can do this. Oh, we can't remove, though. 27. Oh, that's a pro... I... You know what? It's actually not that much of a problem, if I think about it. He's probably just gonna drop this. And he's gonna try and get rid of Sorin. Which is fine. It's so... It's so sad when you're playing Silesnia a live game and <laughs> you got only one fight. <laughs> oh... Oh, I don't know what does this do. Target creature deals damage equal to the blah, 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 blah. Wait, does this make it so I want... Well, I do want to save Sorin for at least a little bit, so I guess this is the play. Oh, that's pretty useful. Uh, do the minus. And let's just establish a lot of dominance. We could go for a Liliana. That would also be pretty Razma de Yeah, you know what? Going for the Liliana is by far the safest play. And the safest play is currently kind of a really, really good play. Worst case scenario, no, best case scenario. He just drops like two or three creatures. Also, that just sit. Well, I guess it doesn't make a difference, but... You know. Kind of questionable, not gonna lie. Okay, so does he try to get rid of our Soren Chan now again? Co another creature enters the belly under your control, you gain one life. This is actually a pretty decent card. In a different reality where the standard is not like it is, because it is a 1-4 one, a one that costs 3. That's pretty... V Wait a minute, could have saved... Okay, that's my honestly bad. Uh, but, Liliana will not share the field with just the Sorin. Well, on the other hand, we can get the Sorin back. <laughs> Let's just attack. Let's see him block. We have so much stuff. Why? Why would you just not block? Okay, get the Sorin back. It's like nothing, nothing even changed. And a minus two. The next turn we can Lillian. Everything currently is going extremely according to plan. Admittedly, this is probably one of the best matchups that we can play against. It has no tokens. It has a relatively straight up uh, power plays. And it has a lot of creatures that don't mean anything to us. Admittedly, it's hard to deal when the Righteous Valkyries start coming in, but... Until then, it should be fine. Ooh. Yeah, I'm just gonna do this. So people question my decision making. That's perfect. And another one. Oh, baby. Oh, baby boo. This guy is gonna get absolutely curve stomp. And it's gonna be averted. Skel two skeleton swadmings. Seven one, boy. And then it's gonna be the third one. This is... Well, the second was always drawn on the 20th card, by the way, if no one's paying attention. Cute, but no cigar. Come on, let me just draw... Oh, wait, seriously? Whatever. It's not like it makes a difference, honestly. Skeleton swarming. That's just nasty. 